Hi everyone! Today I want to share a Thanksgiving card. I was so happy to see the Day of Thanks stamp set in the holiday catalog because we've often had fall stamp sets that have a Thanksgiving feel to them but don't have a large Happy Thanksgiving stamp set. Sometimes they say with gratitude or Day of Thanks or things like that which are all great but a nice Happy Thanksgiving has been lacking in my stamp collection so I was really happy to see this one and it's not an expensive stamp set and it's easy to use it's got some other great sentiments to put on the inside or outside. I'm using the Happy Thanksgiving on the inside, but it's large enough to uh, use on the outside, too, as a nice vocal. And it's got this really cute feather, fun turkey, very easy to color turkey. Turkeys have some color to them, but this one is just add a little bit of uh, browns and oranges and you're good to go. <laughs> so it's very simple turkey, and I really liked the feather background, too. I'm using, let's see if I can turn it to catch the light. In person it really has a nice um, shine to it. This is the new metallic inks in copper, celestial copper, and this is a newer, it just came back. We've had metallic inks in the past. Uh, this is a new one and it, I like it. It seems to be a little bit different in that it, it covers nicely on the stamp when I used it. I got really good coverage and I felt like it didn't um, take as long to dry nor did it smear as much. It does take longer to dry than, say, a regular ink. You don't want to touch it right away, but I don't think that it took a crazy amount of time like some past metallic inks have. So this is a nice um, addition to the Stampin' Up! ink lineup. Happy with that. And this designer series paper here is from the holiday catalog as well. It's from the Come Together suite, and it's this really cute, pretty peacock gingham. And Pretty Peacock is a newer color for us. It's one of the in colors. And um, I really enjoy it because I loved uh, Island Indigo. So this is kind of a replacement for me for Island Indigo. It's not as blue, but it's pretty. And I really like it. So there we have it. So this card comes together pretty quickly. Oh, let's show you this too. I don't know about you, but whenever I cut paper for card fronts and things like that, you always end up with these little strips. You know, you've got lots of little strips laying around. So I like to use them, and I often put them inside my cards. And you'll see that if you've seen some of my videos before. And you can use, you know, if you've got a strip like this that can go down the side, you know, that works. Or maybe you've got a long strip. It can go across the top or across the bottom or across the side really. So you can do lots of things with these itty bitty strips that tend to get tossed. So hang on to those and I think they make a really nice accent in your card. So let's put this card together. I'm using a couple dies here. These are just simple circle shaped dies so you may already have them. I'm using the layering circles die to get this uh, white piece here and it's about two inches not exact. And then I'm using the second to largest stitch shapes dies. Stitch shapes gives you four squares, four circles, and four ovals. And I'm using the second to largest of the stitch shapes. This is kind of a must have, I think, in your card making lineup. Um, it's really good to have. Okay, so let's go ahead and do our stamping. First, let's do this turkey. Now I'm stamping the turkey in Memento Black. And this is because I'm going to use Stampin' Blends to add some color. Now you can use um, another black ink if you're just going to add some standard markers color or you're going to use your coloring pencils or things like that. If you're going to do a watercolor color add-on, <laughs> that's a lot of the word color, um, you're going to want to use stays on. But I'm going to use blends so I need to use my Memento ink. And I'm only going to grab a couple colors because I don't want to go crazy trying to keep it simple. So I'm going to do the turkey's head in um, a poppy parade and I'm just going to grab the brush tip and add a little bit of red to my turkey head. And that's it. Maybe a little bit. Just add a little bit kind of around feathers. And then I'm going to grab this one. This is Light Cajun Craze. That's going to be my uh, orange. And I'm just going to add little bits of color, some little highlights on the feathers. Um, they don't have a lot of color on the back feathers, but I think it looks pretty on the card, so that's why I'm doing it. I'm just going to give it a little bit of color, maybe on the neck and on some of these feathers. And right now it looks a little crazy. 
then we're going to bring in the crumb cake. And here we're going to add our browns, and we're going to go right on top of those oranges and reds. And that's going to fade them out a little bit and make them not quite so strong, and that's okay. And the tips of the turkey feathers, I think, are white, so I'm going to leave them alone and just go down the body. And I think we're done. So it looks like I put planning and thought into coloring the turkey. I really didn't. I think you just kind of go for it and don't overthink it. And I think it looks just grand. I forgot my pumpkin pie. Now I'm going to use the small tip on the pumpkin pie just to give him some oh, legs and his beak. Okay. There is Mr. Turkey. And that oops, is just going to layer on top of my stitched. Oops, nope. I forgot. I was wanted to sponge him first. Glad I caught myself. I wanted to give it a little sponge of metallic ink on the edges just because I think it'll stand out nicely. It's funny, I used to sponge the edges all the time and then I didn't in it for a really long time, but I think with the metallics. It really looks nice. Okay, now I'm going to stick it onto my stitched circle. And we'll put this aside. All right, the base of my card is Pretty Peacock. And I've also cut another piece of Pretty Peacock at five and a quarter by two. And this is going to be kind of we're making our own designer series paper background here with these feathers. And I think that looks really fun. And um, I wanted to not go directly onto the card base because I like to have a little bit of dimension and layering and you can pop this layer up or leave it flat and I think it still has a nice little clean edge and it looks really great. So I'm going to first stamp my feather in the pretty peacock. And we're just going to be random about it. Just turn your feather to and fro. Make sure you get some of the bottom parts of the feather. You don't want all tips. There you go. Maybe one more. There. Okay. Now we're going to add some copper. But before you do, stamp on an extra piece of Pretty Peacock. And I've already done it, so I'm not going to do it again. But um, I stamped an extra piece scrap in um, the Pretty Peacock and then again in the copper, and we're going to cut those out for our accents. So then go ahead and clean your feather. And we're going to do the same thing with the copper ink. And you want to go in different directions than you did with the Island Indigo. Oops, not Island Indigo. <laughs> Pretty Peacock. Oops, let's get something over here. Alright, I think that's enough. And we're going to set that aside. And then you're going to stamp your next one. And then go ahead and clean that off. Okay, now this piece is, like I said, it's two by five and a quarter. And then my gingham plate piece, to make it fit with the same edge around it, you really only need two inches also by five and a quarter. But I cut it a little longer, or wider, I should say, so that it's easy to layer these pieces on top of each other. So this one, although I only needed two inches, is actually two and a quarter. And that way, I can get... 
a layer of this, um, layer them together to make four inches. And if you need help with that, I kind of just hold it in place on my card front and measure to where I like it. And you want it to measure about four inches. There. Now I have a little bit of adhesive still showing and that's okay because I'm going to put ribbon there. Here's that really pretty ribbon. Now to get this ribbon to stick down even stronger, even though I do have a little bit of adhesive still on here, I'm going to go ahead and use some tear tape with ribbon. I like tear tape on the ribbon. I think it does a nice job. And I'm going to wrap it around the ends. And peel that off. And then I can wrap my ribbon around the ends. Too high in the back there. And that can get placed right down on top. Now I want to use um, tear tape again or a strong adhesive because I have this bumpy ribbon. So you can use, if you've got um, liquid adhesive that works nicely, the Tombow Multipurpose. But I have this sitting right here, so I'm just going to grab it and use tear tape, although I don't normally use tear tape, just to layer. And then it goes right on top. Now for the inside, I've got my Happy Thanksgiving, but I kind of want to decide what I'm going to do on the side first. So I, here, I'll just use this one just so I know uh, where to center my Happy Thanksgiving. I'm going to go ahead and use that one. I'm not going to glue it down yet because sometimes I do make a mistake and it's nice to be able to flip the paper over. <laughs> there we go. Now I can glue this down. Okay, let's cut out these little feathers. Even though there's not a die for the feathers, it's super easy to cut them out. Okay, we've got a little bit more stamping to do. We've got our greeting. And that is also in the peacock. And then for this one, I um, wanted to punch the ends. So I used my triple banner punch. It's called triple because it makes three sizes, none of which are the size I'm using. <laughs> but I used a Sharpie and I added some sizes on the back. I measured with my ruler and I added a half inch size and a three quarter inch size. So I'm going to go ahead and place this in and then if I hold it from the back I can see that I'm lined up and punch it. And um, I think that's a good thing to do. I like this punch, but I also tend to use it for small pieces. <laughs> Alright, now we're just layering. I'm going to go ahead and add my greeting to the bottom. And Mr. Turkey is going to be popped up with some dimensionals. And I'm leaving the side a little clear because I'm going to tuck those feathers behind there. So he's not, uh... that's why my dimensionals are heavy on the right side. 
because the left side is going to get these little feathers. And I'm just going to put a dimensional on there on my copper. Just tuck it where you think it looks best. Maybe you want some of this to show. I think that's good. And then this one, I didn't put another dimensional because I need to slip it in there. So this one has some regular adhesive tape runner snail and I'm going to layer it like so. And there is my Happy Thanksgiving card. There you go. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you'll take a look at the Day of Thanks stamp set. I'll have um, this card and the stamps and all the supplies used at my blog, bestpapercuts.com, where you can also download a tracker sheet for your purchases. I give um, frequent buyer rewards programs. Basically what I'm doing is I'm sharing my stamp and rewards with you. I save them up and when people redeem their points, I use my stamp and rewards and I share them with you. So that's what I do, and that way you can get some of those host stamp sets you like, or you know, save up for a free stamp set. Um, depending upon how many points you have, that's how much you can spend. And uh, if you're in my area, I hope you come to a card buffet or stamp camp. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.